Okay, back with part two. Um, did something stupid earlier. We'll talk about that some other time. But anyway, uh, you see I have a water pump off. The oil pump's stuck on there because it's a little retainer thing in the back. But something I didn't think about in the first video was I have a lighter. And it doesn't help at all. At all. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you can see it there. That's the crack. You can really see it and turn it up. Try not to set my engine on fire when I do it. But yeah, you can see the crack there. Look at that flame. You can see the crack there. Yeah, my crack lighter. But, I mean, yeah, that fucker's in there. Pretty damn good. Uh, I think I ruined my lighter. I don't like cheap lighters. Yeah, I think I ruined that fucker. Oh, there it goes. Anyway, um, one thing that is very interesting about these engines that I kind of think people should know is that this is technically a Ford premium engine. Yeah! But, uh, oh shit. This kinda, oh yeah, I got the crank pulley. All stupid. Not the crank pulley, the bolt in the back. But one thing that's interesting is when the pistons are up, you can actually see how far out they come from the, uh, the the block and the reason why is because it's a HO motor and it raises the compression ratio pretty damn high not pretty damn high pretty damn high for 1980 freaking eight early 1988 um and the great thing about these pistons that I like so much is that they're non-interference pistons those reliefs pretty much make it to where regardless how you have the engine timed if you spin it over, you know, try to start it, you're not going to bend the shit out of your valves and your cylinder head. So that's kind of a good deal. I, I really like that. Makes it easier to work on. Makes it easier to clear if it's ever flooded uh, when you're first starting it and you're doing serious work anyway. Um, it has a clear flood mode. All you have to do is hold down the gas pedal to the floor and the computer won't let the injectors fire. So you do that for five seconds, you know, and you can let go of the gas pedal without stopping cranking it and they'll start right up. Uh, if you ever did flood uh, freaking HO motor, which is kind of hard to do. I mean, you have to be pretty stupid to flood a fucking HO motor. Anyway, back on topic. Uh, see if we can get this thing out. So, that is the top end. You can actually see all the ceiling surfaces. If I had a good camera, you could actually see all the ceiling surfaces are sealed pretty damn good. Except for the crack. Anyway, flipping the motor over put my foot on it and try to keep it a little bit steady. Ah, 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 ah. And I don't have nuts for the back of it, so it's kind of nerve-wracking to flip this thing over. Eh, eh. Come on, come on, come on. Anyway, um, I already busted loose all the mains. I should have busted loose the Conrods first, uh, just because it makes it a little bit easier, you know? You actually see that they drilled out some of the crankshaft to get it to balance properly. It doesn't really matter. This fucking motor is rough. I mean, it's not super rough, you know, but I mean, compared to like my Buick's freaking 3.8, 3800, you know, freaking Series 2 motor, you could barely tell that fucker was even on, dude. This fucker is real rough compared to that. Anyway, uh, this engine is kind of done for, you know, it costs a lot to, you know, fix a block like that, and the cylinder head's cracked too. You know, thanks to its genius owner, you know, but, um, you know, freaking, it's very expensive to, to try to make those repairs, so, you know, I'm just going to source a block, swap the block out, freaking, um, not just swap it out, I got to do some machining work, I have to make two or three more videos, depending on how my main and uh, rod bearings look, you know, on, uh, how to actually, you know, blaze break and everything else. I'm, I'm sure they're out around. You can actually see the spots in this motor where they're, you know, kind of worn extra where the, the, the piston actually articulates on the rod. So, you yeah, know, they're pretty small con rods. You know, they look big, but compared to my hand, dude, like, look at that. Like, I'm almost touching that thing, in case you can't tell, or if you can't see, because it is kind of hard to see, but those con rods, pretty tiny, 1.9. But, um, I don't know. Once I get my freaking, whatchamacall, my new block, my new block, uh, we'll see where we're at, you know, like, I got a lot of work to do and I got more money to spend. I gotta buy rings, depending on how these look, 
I may have to buy rod bearings and main bearings. I kind of want to just save a few bucks and get some plasma molly rings since these are kind of like low tension anyway. I mean, it is a Ford, so they're technically high tension, but cranking that with your hand, dude, nothing compared to some of the engines I've had to face before. You know, I think the mileage may have something to do with that, but you know, it doesn't just turn the oil black right when fucking, you know. Yeah, it does. That's bullshit. Yeah, it turns the oil black. So maybe not plasma molly rings. Plus they're like 120 bucks for a set. But uh, once I get the new block, well, new block, and all of the details on that, plus shipping, I think the guy lives in like Ohio or something like that. I'm not sure where the hell that guy lives, but once I get freaking um all the parts, we're gonna do another update. Sorry, I'm kind of spacing out. I'm kind of depressed to be completely honest. I'm kind of happy to be able to tear apart my engine because I've been wanting to do it for a while. I can take that out to make the rotating assembly a little easier. But um, realistically, like I really just wanted to spend the hundred bucks, get it decked, and uh, get that cylinder head resurfaced and buy a head gasket set and bolt everything back together and be done. I already have half of the other shit. I have the oil pump gasket. I have a water pump gasket. You know, my water pump's a little dirty, a little old. Gonna clean that up real good. But um, I'm bagging and tagging everything. There's a lot of loose shit here, but it's not as bad as it looks. Um, but everything's bagged. Everything's soon, get out the way, soon to be tagged. Uh, I got a few bags over here. Uh, the crank came off really easy. I'm kind of looking for something to say because I'm kind of brain farting right now. The whole time I was like, ah, I need my camera. I need my camera. Now that I have it, tongue tied. Aside, there's the update, loader's out the car, and I'm probably going to do another video to show you guys what I want to do with the car itself while I have the motor out. That's going to be really interesting. But, that's a wreck. Signing off. Uh, it's another day. Another day. You guys have a good one.